Hey, welcome to Lean, Mean, and Loving It. Today, uh, I want to give you a special tip about trying to get those last few reps out of an exercise. You know, sometimes, as we all know, um, that those last few reps are, are the ones that build the muscle. Those are the ones that, that are really give you the gains that you want, you know. Um, all that other work that you do at the beginning is getting you ready to get there. When you start feeling that burn, that's when you start growing. That's when the set starts. That's when the set begins, you know. So if you got to go with that mind frame that once you start hitting that burn, you've got to push those last few sets out, last few reps. Now, what happens, though, when you know you have physically, you have two or three reps in you, but you're too tired and you can only get one or two? You know, you might get one if you're lucky. Well, there's tricks to that. And so a lot of it has to do with your breathing and how to uh, come through that and how to use your energy as breath, breath for energy. So uh, let's give you a scenario. Let's say you're on the bench. You're on the bench and you're down. And let's say you've gotten yourself into, uh, you've gotten yourself into, you know, your last few reps here. And you know you want to get 10 reps and you're at eight. And you know you're tired. And number eight comes up like this. Okay, trick to get that ninth rep, 10th rep is lock your arms out. Boom. Take two breaths. And you come down. Touch, explode up, lock out again. Two breaths, drive it up again. I've been known to get at least four reps sometimes when I'm down to my last rep of, of, of straight movement to when I can lock out, hold my breath, and I can uh, catch it. Now the trick is about two breaths. I've learned through my years that if I hold it many much longer than that, my arms get fatigued. And by the time I start coming down, I'm losing the strength in my arms, my tries, shoulders, everything else is losing. Um, if I don't hold it quite long enough, I'm not giving my chest muscles enough time to get enough recovery. So, you know, I found about two good breaths. You know, it's probably about a good second and a half, two seconds. Down, hit, lock it out again. That's the key. You gotta make sure you do it again. Um, what happens is you feel good. That first one comes up after you rest it. After you rest it up here for a second, two, it feels so good coming up. The first one comes up so easy. A lot of people feel that they'll get the second one too, and that kills them. So they get one, and they come up and they go, and uh oh, uh oh. They lost their set. If they would have just locked it out, did one at a time, locked it out, do the reps, they would have got it. So keep that in mind next time you're trying to get out those last few reps. A good helpful tip from the professor.